Every year, conscientious people around the world stand up to the fur industry on Fur Free Friday, held on the last Friday in every November before the beginning of the busiest shopping season of the year. Fur Free Friday unites people who are appalled by the multi-billion dollar fur industry, an industry that forces millions of animals every year to endure the most profound indifference to their suffering and most basic needs. Today, an estimated 85% of fur comes from fur farms. Fur farms all over the world keep profit margins high, making fur affordable for everyone. Fur from foxes, mink, rabbits, cats, dogs and numerous other species is now found on high streets all over the world in coats, handbags, gloves, scarves and even in homeware. I've come out to do a bit of shopping in London to see what fake and real fur is available. It isn't always clear to shoppers how fur is taken from an animal and whilst we encourage all conscientious shoppers to make themselves aware of this, we thought it would be more positive if we show you how to tell the difference between real fur and fake fur so you can make the right decision when shopping because ultimately when the sales end so will the suffering. Well let's have a look and see what we've got. Nowadays with synthetic furs becoming more and more like real furs and with real fur often undergoing extensive dyeing and modifications it's often hard to tell the difference between real and fake fur. If you can't be sure fur is fake don't buy it. The first thing that we'll look at is the texture of fur. In fake fur, it tends to be dense and coarse all the way through, whereas real fur has different textures at the base and different textures at the top. This is the kind of fur trim that you'll get around hoods of coats in every high street. Another way to test is to roll the fur between your fingers. On fake fur, it feels a little rougher and a little coarser, whereas on real fur, it's much smoother and softer. The next test is the pin test, and this is to see what the fur is attached to. On fake fur, it'll be attached to material, and the pin should just slide straight in. Whereas on real fur, it's still attached to the animal skin, and is much harder to push the pin in. The last test is the fire test, and this is to see how a piece of fur burns. With synthetic fur, fake fur, it burns like plastic, and it smells like plastic. Whereas with real fur, well, that smells like burning hair, and that way you can tell the difference. If you're unsure if a store is selling real fur or not, you should ask the manager and follow this up with a letter. If you suspect that someone is selling fur when it isn't labeled, or is perhaps labeled as fake or faux fur, but you think it's real, then you can write to them using a template letter on our website. There's no such thing as ethical fur, and there's no such thing as cheap fur. Somewhere, an animal is paying the price.